Prior to installing the tibidometer to the wall, it may be easier to pre-assemble the feed and drain tubes and install the measuring cuvette and desiccant pouch while working on a bench. Looking at the top of the tibidometer, you will see two nipple assemblies that are clearly marked in and out. Also, the flow measuring cell is clearly marked with an in and an out. This is important as we assemble the two tubing assemblies to the tibidometer. The influent line is marked with a in that's on the clamp assembly. This is used to interrupt flow into the flow measuring cell. The effluent line has a pinch valve on it. This pinch valve is used to regulate flow in and out of the measuring cell during the initial startup. Before we install the influent and effluent tube assemblies, we want to first remove the dust covers that protect the measuring flow cell's nipples. The tube assemblies are installed into the nipples and the connector nut is hand tightened only. Do not use any tools. The effluent line is installed in the same manner. Again, do not use any tools or over tighten the connectors as damage to the nipple assemblies may occur. We are now ready to install the meter to the wall. At this point, it's also advisable while it's on the table to install the measuring cuvette to the flow measuring cell. Measuring cuvette comes in a package. And as you can tell, this cuvette has the ultrasonic cleaner option. It has a metal ring affixed to the bottom of the cuvette, where if you had the non-ultrasonic cleaning option, the cuvette would, be, would not have the metal ring attached to the bottom. So to install the cuvette, we unlock the measuring flow chamber, inspect the O-ring gasket to make sure it's free of dirt, debris, and any defects. What you want to do is take the cuvette and you want to screw it clockwise, hand tight it. Do not over tighten the cuvette. It will fracture and you could break the cuvette. Using the cloth that comes with your calibration kit, Prior to installing it back into the flow chamber, you want to make sure that it's all clean of any fingerprints, moisture, or any dirt that accumulates to the outside of the cuvette. The cuvette's installed into the measuring cell. We're ready to hang it on the wall. Prior to hanging it on the wall, it may be a good idea at this point in time to go ahead and install the desiccant pouch. The desiccant pouch comes with the instrument itself. It is put inside of a sealed envelope. And once it's open and exposed to the air, it will start absorbing moisture. So you really want to do this at the very last moment before installing and commissioning the unit. Very easily, the small door on the side of the 4150, you open it up and base, basically take the desiccant pouch and just install it into the chamber. Put the, put the cap back on, and now your housing is completely sealed, and the desk pouch will do its job by removing moisture from the air. Before we mount the meter to the wall and install the feed and drain lines, I want to point out two items on the meter. Cigna provides a pressure regulator. This regulator is factory set and requires no additional adjustments. The maximum pressure to the regulator is 250 PSI or 17 bars. On the effluent side, effluent side usually goes straight to drain, but one thing you want to be aware of, there's a small screw that's on the side of the effluent nipple assembly, and this does need to be removed if you plan on having a gravity feed system. Gravity feed system doesn't have a whole lot of pressure behind the flow stream, so it's necessary to remove this screw to allow the atmospheric pressure to pull the water through the flow tube itself. Periodic maintenance is required. During calibration, it is a good time to um, clean the measuring cuvette itself. If you have the ultrasonic cleaner option, although you have this option, you still may be required to clean the cuvette. Very simply, you remove the cuvette from the measuring cell and
And because we spent all this time setting up our flow rate to reduce our bubbles, a big advantage of the Signet product is the fact that all you have to do is shut off water flow by using the clamp that is on the influent line. It cuts off the water stream. At this time, all you have to do is remove the cuvette, dump the water, clean the cuvette with whatever product you need to clean the cuvette with, reinstall the cuvette, again, hand tighten, you don't want to over tighten it, clean the cuvette, make sure there is no moisture on the outside of the cuvette, and at that point, you just unclamp your water flow and you're back to measuring. Cleaning of the cuvette can take a very short period of time, a big advantage of the Signet product. Put the cuvette back into the measuring cell, you're running back and you're measuring NTU values again. The only other maintenance required on the 4150 is a desiccant pouch. When a desiccant pouch has too much moisture accumulated on it, an internal alarm, as we talked about in the menu structure, can be set up so desiccant will show up on the front display and at that point just open up the desiccant pouch door remove the desiccant pouch replace it with a brand new one and reinstall the door and now all the maintenance is done on a 4150